Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. You need a radio for off-roading, you have outgrown your handheld, and you've decided you need a mobile. You come to Rugged Radio's site, and you decide that RM60 is the one you're going to get. And in talking to them, when you place the order, you're told that you'll be programming frequencies into it. And you think, oh my gosh, what have I gotten into? Well, let me show you what you've gotten into, show you how easy this is, and show you how much better it's going to be if you're taking care of this. So you contact RT Systems and tell them that you've got the RM60 on the way, and we get you set up with a programming cable and the software. This is what the software looks like for programming that radio. And what you need are frequencies. These are just like the ones on your FM radio in your car where you listen to 103.3 for your rock and roll or 89.6 for your country music. Those are frequencies. When you're talking to your buddies and they say, oh yeah, we're going to get on Harry's channel, well, that's all well and good, but you need to know the number for Harry's channel. Not that it's channel number four. You need to know its frequency. We'll talk a little more about that in a minute. Let's look at how this process starts out. You get the radio out of the box, you get the software installed, you get the cable. This is all done at home. This is not something you're going to do in the field. So I've got the radio here and with the radio off, I pr plug the cable into the data port which is on the front of the radio all the way in good and tight and that little piece of rubber that you take off of there so you can get to the data jack don't lose it turn the radio back on and in all honesty if the alarm goes off just turn the radio back off and try again communications get data from radio this is where you start and here are all your instructions Remember, whenever you plug or unplug a cable, the radio should be off. Turn the radio on and click OK. Just that quick and easy. Radio's counting up over here. It says clone and it just keeps counting. As long as nobody says they have an error, everything's good. This is what is programmed in your radio when it comes from Rugged. These 15 channels, yes, it goes to channel 16, but notice channel 0 is empty. These 15 channels, I would recommend you leave them. Yes, they're noisy. Yes, there are a lot of people on them, but that's why you want to leave them. If you ever have something come up and you've got to find somebody, you will probably find them on one of these channels. So we're going to work around them is what we're going to do. But the first, we're going to do two things first. We're going to go to settings and radio menu settings. This is untitled. We're going to do file, save as and we're going to call it Original Settings. I happen to have it already typed in there. You would type it right down here, Original Settings, and Save. And then we're going to close this. And then I'm going to do File and Save As. And again, I have an original radio. You'll type it in right down here. And I'm going to click Save. Now you have captured the radio just like it came out of the box. If you mess something up, you can go back to this file and send it to the radio. But you're not going to mess anything up anyway. Now we're going to do File, Save As, and we're going to call it First File. I'm real original. I'm going to do the same thing to the Settings file. They're just kept in two different ways. It has to do with how the radio's brain is set up. We're going to do a save as here, and we're going to call this first settings. Anything you want to call it, it's a file name. I'm going to close this, and I'm going to come right down here. And now it's a blank page. What do I do? Well, just start typing. Let's type 450.00. And notice, the program very politely tells you that that's not allowed. So let's go back to some that are like these. Let's go 
You always want to make sure this comes up simplex. You're not working with repeaters. If you are, it's completely different and you'll have information for setting that up. We'll talk about tones in a separate video. I don't want to keep you too long here. And a name, this could be Charlie. Anything you want. It'll stop typing when you get enough characters in there. Do not take just one channel to the field. Let's put a few more. Now, another place you can find these, let's go up to File and External Data and Frequency Lists. These others give you frequencies that are in the ham radio range. And while they might be quiet where you're going, uh, you might want to stay away from them. They're going to be repeater frequencies anyway, and they're not going to work for what you want them to do. Okay, let's go to frequency list. Weather channels wouldn't hurt to have them. Can't transmit on them, but you can listen on them. If you see a storm coming up, you can get some details here. FRS, notice these are all 400s. They don't do me any good. GMRS, these are all 400s. They don't do me any good. MURS, I got 150s again, so let's take all of those. But remember, everybody else might be taking these. UHF, those won't do me any good. Marine channels, I'm in the 150s again. And generally, you are so far from the water, you can probably sneak onto these. But the rule about any of these frequencies is if you interfere with the proper owner of them, you have to move off of it immediately. Okay? So I'm not going to take all of those, although I could. And then I've got off-road frequencies. Anything that's got a little star, it's the same as these 15 that are up here. But you might be working with Dickers 1 or 2 with their team and you need those frequencies. Um, you may know who Kosh is and you want to listen to that one and we just pick it here from the list. And you pick the ones. I see we don't need this one. I say nothing with the stars because they're already in there. And if these people are not around, you can use these frequencies. But if they're around and they ask you to move, you need to move. Starting channel, we're going to start down here at 25. And we're going to apply. Just that quick and easy. We have a bunch of frequencies. Now, see this one with the minus and these with minuses? We don't need that. Let's set this back to simplex and simplex. Now, let's just take them out. If you program your radio and you program some of your buddies' radios that have the RM60, you can't put this in another radio unless you have the program for that radio. You've got all the same channels here. Surely you can find one that's not as busy as those 15 up at the top. That's been the biggest thing we heard about when we talked to you guys is looking for something that's not as noisy. And when I'm ready, I do, well, I'm not quite ready. Settings, radio menu settings. Let me show you a couple of fun things in here. I can change the color from blue to orange to purple. I can make it brighter or less bright. I can display the frequency instead of the name or the channel number. The channel number will just show me 
you know, 19, 20, 21, 22, that's the least thing I'd recommend. We'll leave it on name. Memory channel, I could make it so that it always goes to a certain memory channel. But more important over here, right down here, P key assignments. These are the P1, P2, 3, 4, 5 keys on your the face of your radio. I can make this my call. I can make this so it sets squelch. This so it checks the battery. This so it scans. You see, it can do all kinds of things, and you have control over it right here. When you get finished playing with them, and I encourage you, play with them. Okay, this is function and the key. Look at your radio. There's a function key, a big F on it. And brightness. You might want to be able to change on the fly. You save this file. Just save and exit. Now let me tell you a little bit about why this is saved separately. You may do one of these files for each track you go to, for each area you go to. But you won't have to do, make changes to the settings file each time. They'll follow the frequencies. So I do communication, send data to radio, and Tell it OK. And the radio's counting up again. Everything I've shown you today, I would recommend that you do this at home before you go to the field, while you and a buddy can play, while you still have cell phone coverage, and just in case the two radios don't talk to each other, you can talk to each other on the phone and make sure everything's set up the way you want it. This is so normal for radio. It is so typical for radio. And just think, you have control now. You're not mailing your radio back across town to get the programming set up um, or touched up. The one thing you cannot do is add something on the fly in the field. The radio just won't do it. It's not allowed by the laws that govern this radio. I'm going to leave you with it to play. And like I say, play. You can always go back to the original radio. It's Karen at RT Systems. If you get really stuck, call us. We'll be happy to answer questions. You'll want to have the software in front of you when you do, because that's how we're going to explain it. Have fun. Drive safely.